In the following video, you will see a home-based business that is so simple and automated, a beginner can do it. Let's start. Warning, even Amazon, Lowe's and Home Depot won't give you the best price on quality tools like you think they do. But my secret tool source can save you at least 70% off their prices. Hint, it's not Harbor Freight. What are the bare minimum tools I need to create basic wood projects? How do I avoid bad quality tools that will just crap out on me in the first year? How good is good enough? Do I need to go ultra high end to ensure a long lasting tool? What are the critical factors to set up a proper workshop? How much money do I really need to set up a woodworking workshop? After 20 years of woodworking and coaching other, I've seen enough to know. These questions are the biggest roadblocks woodworkers face today, and as I talked to these beginner, novice and sometimes expert woodworkers, I began to see a pattern. Setting up a small workshop? The most common problems beginner woodworkers face are tool selection. Hint, it's not Harbor Freight. I've created this page for people who have these questions running through their mind. How much money do I really need to set up a woodworking workshop? Is my space too small for a functional workshop? What are the bare minimum tools I need to create basic wood projects? How do I avoid bad quality tools that will just crap out on me in the first year? How good is good enough? Do I need to go ultra high end to ensure a long lasting tool? What are the critical factors to set up a proper workshop? How much money do I really need to set up a woodworking workshop? Small basement shop woodworking set up a garage workshop? After 20 years of woodworking and coaching other, I've seen enough to know. These questions are the biggest roadblocks woodworkers face today. Dot in fact, it's so bad that I must apologize it has taken me this long to reveal my answers to all of these questions. And like you, I've struggled with buying tools, setting up my workshop and practicing my craft. But I have to tell you, all of that frustration, planning and hard work has paid off. I finally have things set up just right. And I love this hobby even more than I did when I started many moons ago. All the optimizations I've done, the little habits I've picked up, and the countless techniques, tools and layouts I've tried. All of that has come together to make this hobby exactly what I knew it could be. My love for this hobby is so strong that around 5 years ago I just had to share it with others. So I began mentoring and helping other woodworkers, from all around the world, take their creations to the next level. And as I talked to these beginner, novice and sometimes expert woodworkers, I began to see a pattern. Setting up a small workshop? The most common problems beginner woodworkers face are tool selection. Thanks for watching. I hope you can now see the value of our new product. Please click the link below for more information.